another video guys to be shared with you how i get my state identification card here in washington state so be mindful guys which state you are right now because i believe that it has a different process let's say example you were at texas california florida Ver nevada virginia idaho new york new mexico new jersey Alabama, name it, wherever state you are right now in USA, double check at the website how to get the state ID. Okay, for those who are with me in this journey as a newly immigrant here in USA, I've been here already four months and I processed my state ID month of August. Eventually, this video is a late post, but I am still posting because maybe it can be helpful, especially for those newcomers here in USA. Because you know what? I've been there. Uh, when I came, I don't know what's next, what kind of IDs I have to process. But through asking friend, watching videos, vlogs, searching at the website, it can help. And I hope it will be the same in this video. Going back to how I get my state ID. First, I found out that I need to make an appointment schedule through online before visiting DMV or driver licensing office. And I made also, I signed up the pre-apply online because it can save your time when you visit to DMV. And why I need to get the state ID. Because this can be, could be my valid ID as a proof of identity here in USA. I can use this for any transaction like bank transaction, travel, multi-purpose. But for you guys, I advise, if you know already how to drive, you don't need to apply state ID. Just push to apply the driver license because that could be your driver, I mean, uh, valid ID as a proof of identity. But in my case, I am still practicing. I don't know how to drive yet. Uh, so I need to process my state ID. Okay. Upon the confirmation of my appointment through online, we went to the DMV office on the said schedule. At the main entrance, they asked my name, confirming my appointment. And after that, I proceed to the window carrying all my documents to be submitted and to be reviewed. First is my PSA birth certificate. Second is my PSA marriage contract. I am married. I'm going to use my husband family name. Next is, you know what, she's looking for my uh, original copy of social security number, but I explained it to her that I just only have, I memorized the number. I left uh, my original copy at our safe, safe place. Fourth is, I gave her my valid passport. On that valid passport, it was attached there, my temporary permanent residence card. And there's a little bit issues because she don't want to accept it since it's already expired upon my entry. And I explained it to her that while we are waiting for our original permanent resident card, we can still use this good for one year. She asked her colleagues and later on she accepted and she sit back and typing again uh, all my data information she inputted. And by the way, she asked me if I can be a donor. If something happened, if I can donate my organ, eyes, you know, and I said, I, I answered yes, why not? And after inputting all my data information, she showed me the screen and I have to check. I need to confirm that all data inputted of mine is correct. After confirmation, next is thumbprint taken. After thumbprint Next is photo taken for your photo ID. My photo ID should be natural, no makeup. After pictorial, the last step is to pay $54. It's a big amount for me actually, but uh, the state ID is valid for six years and it must be renewed before the expiration. All right, so that's it. And before I leave the office, they gave me the temporary document where I can use this good for one month because the original ID will be delivered to our mailing address after two or three weeks. And I'm carrying this. I can use this, you know, as a proof. And um, yeah, for travel, you know, for any transaction, I can use this while I'm waiting for the original ID. And you know what? It's accurate because after two weeks, we receive, I receive my state ID. 
Okay, that's the process, guys. I shared it to you because maybe you will get some ideas, tips, and um, you will learn something also. So, guys, thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. But before that, if you are new in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and click the bell for more updates because there will be more videos to come. I'm going to make a quality video, <laughs> I hope. And... Uh, yeah, thank you for your constant support and see you in my next vlog.